Okay, here's a bit of retro ham radio. Back in 1973, a ham WB4VVF, name his name was Garrett, James Garrett, designed a keyer, which was kind of revolutionary for his time, that used 7400 ICs to send code electronically. Not using a straight key, using an iambic key if you wished. Um, then, two years later, he, about two years later to the month, I think, uh, in August of 75, released the memory portion of the keyer. And he called it, this is called the Accu Keyer, and this is called the Accu Memory addition to the Accu Keyer, Accu Memory Keyer. <clears throat> so, uh, in, in the process of teaching myself KeyCAD. Uh, I used Altium for years, but now that I'm retired, Altium's too expensive. So, and Eagle is now taken over, I believe, by Altium as well. So, KeyCAD is open source. So I thought, well, I'm going to teach myself KeyCAD. And I needed something to do. And back when I was young, which is many eons ago, about 50 years ago, I got into ham radio, and this was one of the projects I wanted to do, but couldn't because I couldn't afford it. Um, this uses 2102, 2600, see 2101, 2102, or 2602, I believe it is, static RAMs in the memory. These static RAMs are 1024 by one bit. Not bytes, bit. So the... The, uh, if you divide the 1024 by 8, you'd have 8 words today, eight, or excuse me, 128 words, 8-bit words, in each static memory chip. And these static memories back then, I think, were about 25 bucks, but they were starting to show up on a surplus market uh, cheaper. But, you know, then a project like this comes along and you use up the surplus market. And anyway, us young kids couldn't afford that. So, today we can, maybe. And so I said, well, I'm going to try to build that thing. So, in teaching myself KeyCAD, I went through and, and pulled up all the articles from QST. They're still in, your, in the ARL archives. And pulled up the QSTs, for, I think it's from um, August of 1973. And that was the original keyer. And then I pulled up in 75, did a search, and found this one in 75, which is the memory edition. And then there was addendums that went on after that. Some were from uh, WP4 VVF, and some were from other folks that had little changes and, just, and uh, um, modifications to the original circuit. <coughs> Excuse me. But back in 75... <coughs> When this was done, again, this whole thing is revolutionary. These boards, by the way, the memory board has 15 ICs. The keyer board has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or so. And there's a display board, um, which has 6 ICs that drive the, uh, or excuse me, the display driver board, which drives with its 6 ICs the display board. And then you've got ribbon cables interconnecting all of this. Back then, I think we used wires. So all of this would be a jumble of wires interconnecting all these boards. <clears throat> so it was quite, <coughs> quite the project. And, of course, back then you could order boards from uh, Garrett. But a lot of hams tried to make their own. And, uh, you know, I was making boards back then, too, which was... Uh, not easy. But anyway, here's a little in, uh, sample of what it, what it sounds like. We'll reset that. This is the first quadrant. There's four quadrants. Each quadrant has 256 bytes of storage from the static RAMs. And so uh, we'll play this for you here. Play it. This I recorded CQ before I started the video. So uh, here we go. You see the display counting up. 
I'm just kind of calling CQ and I stored it. Nifty, huh? Anyway, there you have it. A little bit of retro ham radio and uh, something to keep John busy. Uh, <laughs> it did, but it's a lot of fun to, uh, to convert these to schematics and then make PC boards. And of course in China now, um, I think these boards were 10 for five bucks each plus shipping. So a little bit of nothing, you can get a board made in China. Now these are this fairly complex board. In fact, it took me a, a couple of days of work to get these uh, 15ICs laid out on this two layer PC board. Um, so I was pretty tickled about that when I got it done. Um, and of course, this is all manual routed. I don't use any auto routers. Uh, even in Altim, I never used the auto router. Um, by the way, this thing's pulling uh, 5 volts at 0.375 amps or about 1.87 watts. Uh, this could make a, a whole video in itself. This is the Ryden RD6006. But uh, Dave Jones over on EVlog's blog has already reviewed this and... Uh, it's really nice. Uh, current volt limited, uh, current limited, voltage limited. Um, very well done. Uh, very impressed with that. And not very expensive. The whole thing is less than 100 bucks. But anyway, that's another video walking away from this one. Um, segwaying away from this one anyway. So there you have it. The WB4 VVF AccuKeyer, a bit of retro ham radio electronics from 1973 on the original keyer board.